Hi guys, David Texas here, and what I've got in front of me now are a bunch of strap lock types. I just showed you some hardware on the uh, types of um, different types of uh, uh, bridges, and now I want to show you different types of uh, strap locks they've got out there. Now, very simply put, the best I've ever found, but this has been a while. There's one called Marvel, right? They're very simple. They have a long uh, mounting screw in them, and they don't snap on, they screw in, right? They have a very thick washer plate. What you've got between the strap and the body of the guitar is another swivel, a very long, wide swivel, so that not only the guitar swivels underneath this, this washer, it also swivels with the strap. So there's nothing to stop that strap from moving. No interference whatsoever. But I've not been able to find these since I got uh, a set of these things. I got like four or five sets of these. And I've not been able to find any since. So there I am. Now, that's the best I've been able to find. The worst I was able to find are these. And what they do, in essence, they work just like the uh, shader types. They've got a washer. Let's see what that says on there. I don't want to give a name out on this. Anyway, they have a washer and they have a plate. Guitar strap goes between these two. This goes through the two, through the guitar strap, to the mounting. And this thing has like three ball bearings that pop in and out. Uh, so you can take the strap out again. See those? And you push this button on top to get that to you know, take place. Now the problem is, you bump this thing and that guitar strap comes off. I mean, no doubts about it, it's coming off. And it's not happened to me yet, but I can see it happening. Because that button is pretty much up there. So you can actually easily, you know, just, you know, take this thing out. See how it's above the thing itself? So any pressure on that, and boom, out it goes. Out goes your strap. And your guitar smashes on the ground and falls to pieces. So this is the worst design I've ever seen. And I bought one of these, right? And uh, I use that on a uh, old beat up acoustic I've got. So now <clears throat> the second best I was able to find in black, gold, chrome, uh, silver. Uh, it also comes on ne it also comes in neon colors if you can find them. E are these type shaler types. These are very very nicely made, right? They still have that snap-on uh, issue, right? You just pull on this and then pull this out. But the depth of this going into this is very deep. It's hard to have it happen. So you really have to pull hard on this because it's got a counter spring in there that's very, very tough. And it's going to take a few years before this ever gets weak enough to get to replace it. You know? And that's years of popping this thing in and out. And... It still has that screw on ability where you actually screw the guitar strap in between the body of it, right? So that holds that strap in place, doesn't tear it to bits with one, uh, you know, just up against a, a nut or something. Nice, 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 right? Now the issue is, right? How do I replace these? Well, simply, you take your old buttons like an old button like this one. Whoa, let's lose a screw here. You unscrew it, right? You replace the old button, its screw, with one of these. It comes with a part. Now if you look closely, I think it's to focus. Come on, baby. Focus in tight. This is all thread. You follow me? In other words, it's threaded all the way up to the top. And some of these uh, strap replacements, or these old strap uh, uh, screws, don't do that. There's metal at the top. It's, uh, I can't find one, darn it. It's not all thread. So, they're, and they're also, these are thicker than the old uh, strap locks or strap buttons that you're replacing. Not much thicker, but thick enough difference that uh, what you'll need to do is to uh, screw this down, remove it, screw it down, remove it until those top parts of this thread up here 
finally cut into the wood and seat that properly. You follow me? Now, on all the guitars I've gotten from China so far, they all have this. These little washers that are on the bottoms of the strap buttons. And those you need to keep there, right? It takes the less pressure of that thing on the uh, uh, screw and uh, as kind of a cushioning uh, effect for that screw inside of that wood so you don't get any cracks. You get me? So always re replace these, you know, put them right back where you got them. You get it? Now, you cannot use the old strap buttons with the uh, new uh, parts, right? They just don't fit. Not the same. These are a different shape. They're deeper than the old strap buttons. So you just can't take the top of one of these and just, you know, slap it on. It won't work. You get it? So the main difference is, you can get these from Guitar Fetish. I think they're like $14 to $20 depending on what colors you get. And these, at the moment, I think, are the best available. And you don't want to use some crappy-ass uh, existing button like this on your guitar and put a uh, nice strap on there and have that thing come flying off. Because even with uh, nice hard leather, you know, sooner or later it becomes worn and it does crack. And uh, the place that it cracks is right at the button. You know, the button hole is on it. And... Uh, off comes the guitar to the ground, smashes it, and you're really pissed. But really, avoid these. You see this? I want to make sure you see this design really well. This is the worst. I mean, a simple push of that button, which is almost to the very top of that area, and off it comes, and to the ground it goes. Dumb design. Best design you can find are these marbles, right? And they simply screw in. You know, you screw just, you know, you screw it into the, uh, uh, existing uh, mounting area or button on top of the guitar. It also has a swivel on top of it as well. Very nicely made. Wherever you can get them, get them. I think they come in gold and silver, no other colors. That's probably why they don't sell them anymore. Anyway, any questions about these strap locks, give me a holler. But uh, like I said, before you start doing tricks with your guitar, like uh, swinging around your neck, you know, always have a strap lock on there. Never try to swing a guitar around your neck without a strap lock on. I was just asking for, you know, somebody to put it up on YouTube showing what kind of boob you were. <laughs> now you end up smashing a $3,000 guitar. But hopefully you know better than that and won't do that with your nice guitars anyway. <laughs> because what goes it do? It's just for showmanship. But if you've got to do it, use it with a strap lock. Guys, that's what the pros do. And make sure it's not kinked or it's not uh, you know, any problems with it. And that, uh, you know, it's that strap moves freely. I keep coming off camera with this. Moves freely uh, inside there, right? Any questions about this or anything else? Give me a holler, Dave in Texas. Bye.